How do you think we're doing in theatre in this Canada? In Canada, if you look at the span of the theatre that you've been through, from uh, the late '30s in Winnipeg to what happened in the '40s, uh, well, the Army, then Stratford, then Canadian Players, do you think we're in good shape? Or? Oh yes, I do. Well, it's expanded and proliferated beyond belief. When we toured originally with the Canadian Players, there wasn't much theatre across Canada. And that's why Tom Patterson's idea to send the, the Canadian players out was a brilliant one. We did it with a small company with little or no scenery. How many people in the company? Well, just enough to play St. Joan. And people were doubling parts. For instance, I was playing the Inquisitor and the Dauphin. And we had people like Anne Casson and uh, Rolly Hugel and um, Bruno and... Bruno Jersey. We had a wonderful group of people. And how many years were you with them? Mm, we opened in 54 <clears throat> at Rideau Hall. Um, then we went up north to Moussigny. And that was a rather brief period. But then over the next couple of years, we toured across Canada and we even went down into the United States. And it was with St. Joan, usually. And this was every winter, so Stratford was in the summer, yeah. mm -hmm. and that was the winter. And how many years did that last? It lasted for about 10 years, I think, because there was a famous incident when we came back from one tour, and we were flat broke. And Dougie Campbell had to speak at Eaton Auditorium in Toronto about the uh, venture that we were in the midst of. And he belabored the Canadian. He said, no one is interested really in theatre developing in Canada. It's a dream as far as theatre is concerned. They're simply not interested. And someone stood up at the back of the hall and said, well, I am. And afterwards, Douglas said, who was that that stood up at the back of the hall? He said, Douglas, that was Lady Eaton. She backed the Canadian players for the next five or six years, I think.